But there's a lot going on. And, and one big thing that I've been hearing on set this week quite a bit, and people have been talking about it online, is about Sylvester Stallone talking really bad about some extra background performers. So I'm going to say, can we talk about Sly Stallone? So this kind of just came out recently where on the set of Stallone's new show, The Tulsa King Season 2, they were shooting it. Um, he was still with the director and there's sources coming forward from that damn production where he was telling everybody, what the fuck is up with these fucking ugly background? Uh, and then he proceeded to say these names, calling them tubs of lard, fat guy with a cane, um, laughing at them, um, making fun of their weight and their handicaps multiple times, like together pretty loudly, so a lot of the crew heard it. So the crew went forward and said this, I love Sly, and I've heard he's a great guy. So it's really weird to hear this. Now, the director's denying it, saying this didn't happen, this, this is false, false, this is fake news. The casting director uh, actually quit her job because this came back to her. And so, Atlanta-based casting agent came forward, uh, Carlette Locke, and she said she confirmed all this. This did happen. She was actually, you know, they came to her, and so she was upset. She cried. She quit. She was done. She said it hurt her big time to see this, and you know, she got a lot of shit for it. And that's how it kind of broke online. And uh, so, who do you believe? Do you believe the director? Sly hasn't said anything. The director said something. But Sly hasn't. And, you know, this came forward. It really sucks. And it's like, how do you do this? Background actors, extras, whatever you want to call them, they're background performers, background actors, like they say these days. Of course, they're very... And there's a lot of people that work out here through casting, uh, Central Casting, uh, Sandy Lisi, uh, through Bill Dance, through, you know, I mean, through Rich Kane. There's all these companies that hire these people. And of course, in Atlanta, you have the same kind of things. And in you know, New York, you have Central Casting as well. And it's a big thing during the strike where you're fighting for these people, too. So I got to say, it's pretty much, if this is true, it fucking sucks. These people to get fucking treated like shit too many times. I've done this job before. Sabrina's in this job. We've done this fucking job. And it's, it's not cool. It's not not cool you are a person you're doing a job and you're very you know important to the to the job and i know they're trying to get rid of background performers these days because of ai shit and they will be the first people to be cut and it's bullshit though and if sly did say this shit i mean come on man you're better than this you're better than this let's go on to the group though it's absurd so Brittany, hear this. What do you think? If this is true now of course sly isn't saying anything but this came from like a casting director came people on set allegedly Allegedly, this is what happened. How do you feel about Sly's career moving forward if this happened? Will it hurt Tulsa King? Will it cause any problems or will he just continue forward with nothing? Kind of, no kind of ramifications moving forward for him. Honestly, unfortunately, no one fights her background actors at all, ever, even on set. And that comes from the top to the bottom. As Brian said, I've worked at, I, I literally, years ago, I said I will never work background again. I am never going to be treated like that you can go fuck yourself. There's no way that I'm going to endure what these people endure. Yes, they do get paid Edward Hyde, but like when I started doing it, like they got paid, I mean, a pittance. Like, I mean, this was a very long time ago, but you know, it was basically half of what you got paid to do union. Now that they've raised minimum wage, they actually are very close to union actors. However, they got paid. the way that they are treated on set is insanely unjust and unfair for the most part there are certain just not shows funny. that take care of their background like very very True well puppy. like um on bosch uh we there was like a group of background that always worked like police officers and stuff they were one of us it was great like we were all fucking homies like they were part of the crew but a lot of shows don't uh view it like that and i actually got into it with a pa one time who like was trying to like not let a background actor who by the way was like 78 years old go to crafty and get a bag of fucking chips you know and like it's i've stuck up for them multiple times they always get treated like shit you know and i've been treated like shit as a background person but when i'm in a position to try to stop it i do um so i'm i'm for i'm unfortunately not surprised i'm not surprised that this happened if it happened um, and if it didn't happen with him, it's happened with a million ADs, PAs, directors, fucking actors, like all over the place. There's a lot of people who are great and appreciate it. And there's a lot of people who don't. And if you remember, like years ago in the 80s, I believe they used to have a extras casting. 
And they got paid a shit ton more money. They got paid more money than stand-ins get paid now to be extras because extras are pivotal to a scene. Like if you're in a scene and people are crossing the street in New York and you're walking down, what are you going to do? What are you going to do without all those people? Like it's actually a very important job, but people, like once the extras guild dissolved because SAG absorbed it, it was part of the contract negotiation for SAG to get what they wanted and they fucked the extras, which again, don't really love uh, SAG for all the things. I'm a member of SAG. They just don't really fight for people. Yes, actually, Edward Hyde crew always has complaints, but background is not crew. They're on daily contracts. They work different shows all the time. If you have a calling service, you could be booked on a show that goes from 8 p.m. till 8 a.m. and then have another call the next day that goes from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Like, there's a lot of things that, you know, these people go through and they're just treated like shit. They're not allowed fucking bathroom break sometimes. They're not allowed to go to crafty like regular people and get a cup of coffee or get a bottle of water or what like, they're just treated like less than. And I just don't appreciate that in any faction of any job. I just don't think that that's appropriate to treat any human that way. Um, especially in an industry where so many people get everything that they want. People are being delivered Starbucks and fucking food and do whatever the fuck. What do you need? Do you need something? And then you get second meal and everyone goes through and then like, okay, now you guys can go through. And there's like a cup of rice and like one piece of chicken for 50 people. Like, it's just not nice. You know, like I said, a lot of productions are very good with it, but a lot of productions aren't. So um, I really hope that this didn't happen. Honestly, I really hope that. Yeah, I hope so too. Uh, Queen, I believe that yes, they can, it's, but like in more of a wide set setting. But like if we yeah, they, they're gonna be Sora extra needs to like bump into you or something. There's they can't do that with CGI. They need a person. Well, yeah, but they're gonna try more and more of that Sora program. They were pitching to the studios. I haven't heard yet what happened with that, but I know they were pitching to the studios sure. for future stuff. So uh, I guess it sucks being the most uh, replaceable people on a film. It, yeah. yeah, it does suck. And for a long time, it was a very well paid job. I mean, and a long time, you know, you, you're pretty consistent work. And so, but those days are going down. There's a lot of people that are still making a living, but again, the strikes have kind of dwindled down the work. They're hiring less people. It's just what happens. You know, people uh, in the chat have said and uh, commenting is basic economics. You know, you, you, you raise the wages, you hire less people. Uh, it's right. been happening a lot, yeah. but right. And, then, and they're, you know, they're fucking the masses, you know, which is, yeah. But I know it's going to keep changing. It's going to keep changing. And I, I don't think those Stallone will suffer from this. I know like, uh, Colonel Guile was saying that he still loves he still loves Sloan. Yeah, I love Sloan too. It's just like you hear this though. It's just it's just really it's more about like the big problem that comes with the uh, hierarchy on set sometimes I and how an people get treated. That, said that she that she was it was like a concentration camp working on the show, and literally yeah, that sucks. That was in the That's room dumb. Was like, <gasps> like what? Like what? I'm sorry. Do like, they do they do all the things? Like do they do your makeup and cut your hair and fix your hair and blow out your hair and dress you? Like is that what you think that that's about? Yeah, like, it's just, just the, the level of it's nuts. It's insane. It's, it's insanity. It's like you just you just don't like the the shit. I just when you're on top, you know, and you have a a distorted representation of what happens with the rest of the world, you know. And like yeah. whether it's for you know the fact that you've been doing this Love Rocky Four and you've you know you're on a different level, it's kind it's just kind of fucked up and it's sad and I don't appreciate it at all. Um, it will it crush is you. Keep changing, absolutely, Gene Perry. Welcome to the show. Thank you for being here. Welcome, um, welcome, Gene Perry. Know, I, just, I just I don't know. I, I I don't I don't like the whole like looking down on people thing, and I feel like background gets the brunt of that on the set. In my they do, opinion. and that's why this whole story just kind of like it you know, irritates me. But it's a it's a more pressing issue about like just treating pe people better on set. Gr, you know this world too. Uh, do you think that you know this is a you know this is kind of what it like? It's like on set how extras are treated, how backgrounds treated. Is it just a big problem that we're shining light on now because it happened on set? Uh, will it change because of this? And do you think that Stallone will have any kind of issues because of? his alleged words that he said about certain people doing a job. Well, will it change? Probably not. I mean, it's been going on for hell a century now, plus. So I don't think it'll change much. But what if this is, if he really said these things and it is alleged, so we won't That's alleged, that. yep. But if it's true I would lose, re I still love his work, but I would lose respect for him as a person. 
to forget where you came mm-hmm. from. I mean, you don't. He didn't start up, you know, making billions of dollars from his movies. You got to remember where you came from. Yeah. And he, he gave up his dog for the Rocky contract. He gave up his dog and just to be able to make that movie happen and got his dog back, I think, eventually when it was a hit, fought for himself. He came from nothing. And you for, yeah. And too many people, not just him, but too many people forget where they came from. Yeah, and it's it's unfortunately that are still there, you know, that haven't had the run he's had. Unfortunately, it's very it's very much how it goes in Hollywood. Sometimes it's very sad. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think there'll be. Someone, Jerry, I really don't think he's happy. Someone who came from humble roots should be. I'm sorry. Someone who came from I, I, humble roots should be fucking more respectful. Yeah, it should be. It really should be. And uh, you know. Jake was a casting director, or not cast, he, was a, he, was an, he was a manager, but he's dealt with casting directors quite a bit. Uh, so I like to go to him for this too. It's like, do you think a casting director would quit and come forward with this if there wasn't some kind of truth to it? Like in your time dealing with this, do you think there's anything that maybe make you think this could be true? Or do you think that again, this could just be someone twisting facts and trying to make something happen? Would a cast director do this? I don't know, it could go either way. It depends on, I don't know if the casting director was like, uh, I don't know. It's hard to say. I could see, I could see where somebody would make something like this up to get attention and, yeah. to, you know, put some shade on somebody who is clearly very successful. Um, Maybe they were mad at, at them because it was hard to cast the cast in general. Could be. Yeah. And you know, maybe these things are like, if, uh, Stallone and the casting director are sitting there in a private conversation and this is what they're discussing and these are the things he said in a private conversation I can see where that could be taken out of context but it doesn't change the fact that he still said it and it's very disrespectful either way allegedly right so, allegedly yeah yeah so I mean I could see yep. I could see both situations you know but um, don't be a hater at work don't be, don't <laughs> be a hater yeah, yeah. It's tough for these people in general, I say, though, too, uh, because the one thing about this, Jake, is like they get all these instructions of being like, hey, OK, uh, for casting, we want this, this, this and this and this. And then especially in these in these background worlds, too, it's like they're casting large amounts of people and sometimes production is mad about it. Uh, but that's this is not how you would do it. You would, you know, talk about it later, go back and forth, have communication. You wouldn't say this kind of disrespectful things. You would be like, they didn't match what we'd want. That happens. But I think that this sounds like it's different. And maybe she could have been mad because she got some flack. Maybe devil's advocate, right? But mm-hmm. to me, again, if this is what it is, that's it's, it's pretty shitty. It's just shitty, yeah, you know? It is. It is. Yeah. And yeah. you're better than that. I mean, like you said, if if this is true and like this is the way he was acting out in front mm-hmm. of everybody and like saying these comments loud enough for these people to hear, then that's I I feel like problematic. Yes, it is. But I I feel like if he was that type of person, we would have heard about this long ago from him that's what i'm saying i've heard great things about him for a long time that's why i was yeah. kind of shocked when i when i heard this you know right. great things like the hero's journey kind of deal out of the game for a hot minute yeah well he's been doing he did the guardians movies he's been when he was involved i was i felt really bad for him with the whole creed thing how he lost or he lost rocky you it's know and he was very cr- though, right? yeah but he lost all the right i mean he he got kicked out of that whole franchise like you know with michael b jordan and everybody else they kind of took him out which is kind of sad you sure, know but- no. Yeah, I, mean, I just hope like that he's not. It was like a cameo situation. There wasn't a lot of extras. Oh yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. It, it was. I just hope and, this isn't true. Like in in Rocky and Creed, he's he has a lot of scenes with them. Like particularly, it's not like he's interacting with people either. Yeah, so I don't, well, it's I don't true. See that. I, I'm not saying right. it's. I'm not saying that he did it. I'm just saying it's not not possible. Yeah, and I also agree. people it's... don't speak up for shit like that. You know, so like that that's a big been problem. Happening all along, and no one said anything. No. It's a big problem, Sabrina. It's a big problem. And it happens all the time. People, pe- people get scared to say stuff sometimes. But end of the day, we'll have to wait and find out if this is true or not and what happens with the production moving I forward. But more. Me too, Pet Star. Big allegations. Big allegations. I hope it's not true. Please, Stallone, let it not be true.